Over there. Another projection. The Fallen were everywhere. Lord Saladin sent a regroup order to all channels. Zavala backed him. They weren't yelling, but it made my ears ring. Their exact words, I can't remember, but Saladin and Zavala, their message was clear. All is lost. Six of us took the wall that day, against orders. One of us, a sunbreaker named Lu Feng. She wasn't even from the city. We died, and died, and died. But we had each other, and we had our light. Six of us. The wall held. Zavala and Lord Saladin made their counterattack. Zavala likes to say that survival is a temporary condition. To fight for it always. But survival is already owed to us. The collapse has come and gone, and yet here we stand. It is our nature to survive. Whether we like it or not, Guardians ask me, what should we fight for? How about peace? How about a city without fear? So Lord Saladin and Lady Ephrodite, he'll hate that I'm telling this story, but Lady Ephrodite, I like Lady Ephrodite, she tells me everything. We like our stories, and we like our helmets, so <laughs> Ephrodite, she lives Saladin over, over her head, and she says, she <laughs> says, I never miss. She lifts him over her head, and she throws him, and he cranks his fist at Havoc. Their combined arc energy singing like a drawn sword 20 miles down, he plummets into a fallen walker. He's like a, like a cannon shot out of a friggin' anti-aircraft gun. Everything, everything explodes. Her ghost was laughing when she revived him. They saved a whole village of people. This was the Dark Age. They had those villages. I miss those days. I miss Lady Ephrodite. 